सो हेलो एवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू ब्रैंड न्यू वीडियो ऑल्सो सॉरी देयर वर नो रेगुलर वीडियोज़ फॉर द पास्ट वीक बिकॉज आई हैड माई एग्जाम्स सो इट वॉज रियली हार्ड टू मैनेज बोथ द एग्जाम्स एंड द वीडियोज बट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट रेगुलर वीडियोज गोइंग फॉरवर्ड एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम जी दैट इज रिस्टोर द परमिटेशन फ्रॉम राउंड ए थर्टी फोर आई विल ऑल्सो मेक अ वीडियो ऑन प्रॉब्लम एफ फ्रॉम द सेम राउंड सो स्टे ट्यून फॉर दैट इज वेल नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द सोल्यूशन But before we move on to the solution, I want to tell you guys about Newton School's coding contest. So Newton School organizes this coding contest every month. You guys can solve some quality problems and also compete against top coders in the world. This will be a good opportunity to benchmark yourself where you guys are lying in respect to other students in India or around the world. And not only that, along with this, you can also win some cash prizes. You can win rewards up to rupees ninety thousand. You can also win scholarships up to rupees twenty thousand. And along with this, there will also be some job opportunities. So this month, the contest will be on thirtieth of November. It will be around two and a half hours from nine pm to eleven thirty pm. So do not forget to sign up. Uh, the link will be in the description. So do go and sign up from there. So in the problem, we have been given a permutation A. Of size two n, where two n can be up to ten to the power five, so something like a one, a two, a three, a four, so on up to a two n minus one and a two n. We construct a new array B from this, which is of size n, and we define B of i equal to maximum of a two i minus one and a two i. So if I have to define B one. It will be maximum of a one a two. If I have to define b two, it will be maximum of a three a four. And if I have to define b n, it will be maximum of a two n minus one and a two n. Now we have been given this array b, right? So we know the value of array b, but we don't know the value of array a, right? We don't have any information about a. So for a given array B, you have to find the lexicographically minimal permutation A that could have made this right. Because for a single given array B, there can be multiple uh, permutations A. From those permutations, you have to find the lexicographically minimal permutation A that could have given us this array B. Right. So given array B, find lexicographically मिनिमल परम्यूटेशन ए डैट कुड हैव गिवन एस बी राइट बिकॉज फॉर वन एर ए बी देर कैन बी मल्टीपल परम्यूटेशन ए फ्रॉम दोज परम्यूटेशन वी हैव टू फाइंड द लेक्सकोग्राफिकली मिनिमल वन दैट इज द एंटायर प्रॉब्लम सो हाउ कैन वी सॉल्व दिस लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द ऑब्जर्वेशन observation 1 that is for every i a of 2i is equal to b right for example let's say your n is equal to 3 so we have a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 let's say your array b is equal to 4 2 and 6 so we have 4 we have 2 and we have 6 So we know maximum of a one comma a two is equal to four, right? That tells us either a one is equal to four or either a two is equal to four. That is one of these elements is equal to four. Let's say the leftover element, leftover element, is equal to x, right? So we have maximum of Four comma x is equal to four. Now what it means is that your element x is less than four. So now we have two cases: a one, a two. The first case is that your a one is equal to four and your a two is equal to x. In the second case is your a one is equal to x and your a two is equal to four. Obviously, you want your permutation a to be lexicographically minimal. So you will choose case two, right? 
because obviously x4 is smaller than 4x because your element x is smaller than 4 that is why your second case x4 is smaller than 4x so so you will obviously choose the second case so what that means is that you will set your element a2 equal to 4 similarly you will set your element a4 equal to 2 and you will set your element a6 equal to 6 so now you have something like a1 4 a3 2 and a6 6 now you have three leftover values we have three unused values that are 1 3 and 5 we have to use these three values to fill a1 a3 and a6 right now let's see in the second observation how we can fill these three values so now let's move on to observation 2 So we will try to greedily fill the three values, right? So we want our permutation A to be as lexicographically minimal as possible using some greedy method, right? So the very first strategy that we can use is that we can try to place the minimal elements in the beginning. For example, if I have a1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6 and let's say my B is equal to 4, 2 and 6 so I get A1, 4, I get A3, 2 and I get A5, 6 right so I will start from the beginning and I will try to place the minimal elements for example the unused values are here how much the unused values are 1, 3 and 5 so I will start from A1 and I will choose the minimal value that I can place here obviously that is one so i will remove one and place it here so i have one four now for a3 i have to choose some value less than two but if you see the left or values three and five both of them are more than two right so there is no possible value of a3 that i can place so obviously this greedy strategy is not working so we have to find something else because we are getting issues when we are trying to implement this greedy strategy so this will not work but if you think about this, when we say that my permutation A is lexicographically minimal, you can also rephrase it as that the maximal elements are at the end, right? So instead of placing minimal elements at the beginning, now we can try to place maximal elements at the end. So let's try that now. So I have A1, 4 a3 2 a5 6 the unused values are 1 3 and 5 right so i'll start from the end i will have a 5 here a5 so i will choose the maximum value that is less than equal to 6 and obviously that is 5 so i will place 5 here then i have a3 so i will choose the largest value that is less than equal to 2 so that is obviously 1 so i will place 1 here and for 4, the leftover value is only 3. So I will place a 3 here, right? So you are able to see the strategy now, right? And it is obviously working. So we will start from the end, right? And for every uh, point, we will choose the value less than or equal to its paired element. For example, for A5, I will choose the largest value that is less than or equal to its paired element that is equal to 6. And I will place that value here. And obviously, if you are choosing the worst value at every point, for example, we chose the worst value for A5. So for future elements A3 and A1, it is never optimal to swap with A5. So this will give us the optimal answer, right? So in summary, if we have to summarize the solution. So we'll start from the end and for every element, we'll choose the value, the largest value that is, that is less than or equal to its paired element for example here it was 6 so we chose 5 similarly for a3 we'll choose the largest value that is less than or equal to 2 and it was, it was obviously 1 similarly for a1 we'll choose the largest possible value that is less than or equal to 4 obviously it was 3 so that is how we will build our solution so i can write the summary as for every i from n to 1 set your a of 2i as equal to bi right because of observation 1 and for a of 2i minus 1, find largest unused element 
less than b of i or you can say a of 2 pi right and if you are able to find if you are able to find such a to i minus 1 remove it from unused values otherwise the answer is impossible right and that is the entire solution so if you guys want to see the code for this here is the code so my pc is a bit slow i don't know why yeah so here's the code so i have defined two vectors v and answer uh, my v is the input array that i have been given and answer is the permutation that i want to build then i will make a set of unused values first i will push all the values from 1 to 2n in my set and then i will remove the values of array b from the unused right because i cannot uh, use the values of array b so i will remove the values of array b from my unused set then I will start iterating from the end for i equal to n minus 1 up to 0. I will set my answer of 2i plus 1 is equal to v of i. That is basically setting a of 2i equal to bi, right? Then I will find the largest value for i t is equal to upper bound. So I will find the value that is greater than uh, v of i. And then I will shift it one place to the left, right? So I will use auto iterator is equal to unused dot upper bound vi. So I will found so I will find value that is larger than vi, right? And if my iterator is equal to unused dot begin, that means that there is no left value. That means there is no value less than or equal to vi. So the answer is just impossible in this case. Otherwise, I will set my answer of 2i is equal to previous iterator, right? Because using upper bound, I found the element that is greater than vi. So I have to first shift the iterator one position to the left and then uh, use that value. So I will first use previous to shift iterator one value to the left and then use that value. And I will then erase that value from the unused set. And in the end, if I am able to find the answer, I can just print out the answer. And if the answer is impossible or if I just return false, then I can just print minus one. Right. So that is the entire solution. So if you guys have some doubts, feel free to jump my Discord server. I will be more than happy to answer your doubts there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.